Rail Track. One of the largest track owners in England. They were giants, regularly maintaining track all over the UK. But one disaster would expose that this wasn't the case. On the 17th of October 2000, GNER Intercity 225 train ID38 with class 91 number 91023 bound for Leeds had left King's Cross at 12.10am and was travelling along the East Coast Main Line. At 12.23am the train was doing 185km an hour and approaching Hatfield train station when The train rolls over and crashes across the tracks. The buffet car breaks open, killing the four people who died in the crash. 33 were originally reported injured, however, it was later revised to over 70. But what happened? An investigation found that a rail had fragmented as passenger and freight trains passed, and that the cause was rolling contact fatigue after finding some cracks. Rolling contact fatigue is when the weight from a vehicle causes stress on the path or track it is travelling on. If fatigue is not checked, it can cause cracks that can grow into holes. When they reach a critical size, the rail fails and collapses. The problem was known about before the accident. A letter from the infrastructure company Railtrack in December 1999 warned that the existing Railtrack line specification was insufficient to guard against this type of fatigue. Replacement rails were made available but never delivered to the correct location for the installation. Since privatisation, Railtrack had divested the engineering knowledge of British Rail to contractors. While it appeared that Railtrack was doing regular track work on a line, later investigation discovered that it wasn't the case. Railtrack had serious problems with the experience and working knowledge of their workforce. In a subsequent interview, the Zone Quality Standard Manager said, I do not have knowledge of railway engineering nor railway safety. Which was completely contrary to the written requirements for the role. In May 1999, the head of track had said that the insufficiently skilled work was causing more rails to break apart. Railtrack had no idea how many other cases of rail fatigue across the network could lead to a Hatfield-like accident. Railtrack was heavily criticised by the media, indie and mainstream for their criminal negligence. Railtrack would be replaced by Network Rail in 2002 as a not-for-dividend, government-owned company. GNER would be replaced by National Express East Coast in 2007. It would then be succeeded by East Coast in 2009. East Coast would then be succeeded by Virgin Trains East Coast in 2014. VTEC would be replaced in 2018 by, for the first time since 1948, LNER. The Intercity 225 fleet is planned to be replaced by the Azuma fleet between 2019 and 2020. All coaches and engines, except for the buffet car where the four people died, were repaired and put back into service. However, the Class 91 involved in the crash was damaged two years later in the Great Heck Rail Crash, also known as the Selby Rail Crash, repaired and put back into service again, and renumbered 91132 after a technical upgrade of the Class 91 fleet. The report praised the Mark IV coaches for their crashworthiness, since at that speed it was surprising that only the restaurant coach was destroyed. Aren't we lucky that the coaches were that strong and a potentially worse crash didn't happen?